This isn't a video about those tests you can buy online to see if you're descended from Vikings. That's genetics. And yeah, genomics is part of genetics, but it's the ultra cutting edge part that's making major waves at the moment. It can do way cooler things than just tell you where your ancestors hail from. Things like changing the way doctors approach diseases, completely revolutionizing medicine, and even help out sectors like farming and conservation. If you're a bit behind the curve here, no worries, we'll catch you up to speed. By the end of this video, you'll be far more wise than you are now. Let's go. Number one, it's the study of all the DNA in an organism. First up, what is genomics anyway? Basically, it's the study of the entire genetic makeup of anything alive, from a fruit fly to a rice plant to a human being. Genomics reads all the tiny bits of code in our DNA called base pairs to help us understand how we're put together. It got a huge boost back in 2003 when scientists managed to decode all the base pairs that exist in human DNA, all three billion of them, which was a gigantic leap forward for science and medicine. And it's part of the bigger field of biotech, which you can learn some more about by watching our video, 10 Reasons Why the Biotech Industry is Booming. Number two, it's expected to double in size over the next five years. The industry has grown in value five times over the last decade thanks to all kinds of medical breakthroughs it's helping with, including vaccines for COVID last year, and it's poised to grow a lot more. About $23 billion was invested in the genomics sector in 2020, and MarketsAndMarkets.com is predicting that figure will more than double by 2025 to $54 billion. That means, first of all, expect to start hearing the word genomics a lot more often. And second, number three, it looks like the next next big thing for investors. Okay, you know all about Tesla and its electric cars. They've been a big thing now for a few years. Crypto wallets? We're sure you're clued in on those, especially if you watch Alux videos regularly. But you probably haven't heard quite as much about genomics, which is a shame because it's setting up to be the next big thing. Just listen to founder and CEO of ARK Investments, Kathy Wood. She says over the next few years, the biggest upside surprises are going to be from the genomics space. Furthermore, Forbes puts it down as one of the five hyper growth fields to watch out for. Number four, it's revolutionizing medicine. So what's it already doing for us? Well, Google search genomic sequencing online and you'll see there are already plenty of companies you can send off a saliva or blood sample to. They'll analyze it in a lab and a few weeks or months later, you get your entire genome sequence mailed to you. Basically your total unique DNA code on file. Of course, most of us won't actually understand any of it, but show it to a doctor who's qualified in the area and they can use it to tell you what diseases you need to look out for, which ones to take tests for before they become a problem, and what lifestyle changes to make before you give your genes a chance to bite you. And when you need to get treatment, doctors can tailor treatment plans specifically to your DNA, making medicine a lot more precise and allowing doctors to see exactly what's gone wrong instead of relying on so much guesswork, which is pretty common in traditional medicine. But not here. That's why we're seeing such a huge genomics revolution. Number five. Genomics researchers won last year's Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Last year, Emmanuel Carpentier and Jennifer Donda won the 2020 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for a breakthrough in CRISPR gene editing technology. If that went over your head, basically gene editing means scientists are now able to edit precise areas of bad genes and replace them with better ones. In humans, they're hoping it'll completely get rid of a lot of serious diseases, including cancer. In plants, it could do a whole load of other things, like creating hardier varieties that can better survive extreme weather and still produce high yields. Number six, you can have your genome sequenced for less than $1,000. When DNA sequencing debuted in 2003, it would have set you back a cool $3 billion. Now it's a tiny fraction of that, below the $1,000 mark. And ARC Management Investment estimated that these costs will keep dropping by 28% year over year for the next decade. It's becoming a lot more accessible and experts at the National Human Genome Research Institute predict that pretty soon you'll be able to view your full genomic report on your smartphone. Number seven, you can get a single blood test for 50 types of cancer. 
That's thanks to a California-based biotech company, Grail. This year, they've been rolling out the Galeri blood test. Among the people who've invested in it, you'll find names like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. The Galeri test uses just two test tubes of a patient's blood to detect 50 types of cancer before any symptoms have even shown up, something never possible before. It's still in the trial phase, but it looks like it's going to rewrite the rule book for cancer testing in the very near future. Number 8. AI is moving genomics forward. Last year, a Google AI program called DeepMind solved a problem that biologists have been trying to figure out for years. Basically, it did a lot of number crunching and figured out the 3D shape of protein structures in DNA. Why does anybody need to know what the 3D shape of proteins look like? Well, for those of us who don't have a PhD in biotechnology, let's keep it simple. Knowing this little tidbit could change the way medicines are made, help us make them more effective, and help us to roll them out faster. Number 9. The Genomics Industry Has Its Own Google Okay, time to get familiar with the big names of the genomics space. Let's start with the biggest of them all, Illumina. They're the world's largest gene sequencing firm by a long shot, with 80% of the market in gene sequencing technologies, which is why they're already called the Google of genomics, worth $73 billion. And remember Grail, which can test for 50 types of cancer from one blood sample? Yep, Illumina developed that back in 2016, then sold it, and then bought it back again this year year. Number 10. Genomics has a lot of different areas, each with different companies. Even if Illumina was way ahead when it comes to gene sequencing, there is a whole load of other areas of genomics to look out for. Like CRISPR therapeutics and Intellia therapeutics, they specialize in gene editing. 10X Genomics are experts in single cell and spatial analysis of biological systems, or bio-nanogenomics, who know a thing or two about optical genome mapping and technology. And of course, there are a couple of names you've heard of over the last year or so, like Moderna and BioNTech, but more on them in a minute. Number 11. It has its own Silicon Valley. Just like the computing industry calls Silicon Valley home, genomics has been setting up its own hood on the other side of the states in Cambridge, Massachusetts. That's where Moderna is based, and a load of other genomics startups are joining the club. It's right next to Harvard and MIT, which is pretty convenient. Needless to say, you need some pretty high-powered scientific qualifications to get a job in this industry. And according to The Economist, prices for lab space right now are at about $160 a square foot, arguably some of the USA most expensive real estate not at street level. Number 12. Genomics companies are still risky investments. With all the good news about how exciting this space is, we hate to spoil the party, but before you empty your bank balance into the first genomics company that comes up on your radar, keep in mind, genomics companies are very risky investments. Why? Well, before any genomics company makes a breakthrough, it's got to invest tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, and then it has to conduct trials. And if those trials don't go according to plan, a company can go from the top of the pile to bankruptcy very quickly. It is true the sector is going up thanks to some breakthroughs by a few companies, but last year only one in six firms on the Nasdaq Biotech Index gained in value. Others lost about $33 billion between them. So just like any other investment, do your research first. Number 13. They're also facing trust busters. Just like governments don't want Google or Facebook to become too big and control all of our online data, the same is starting to happen in the genomics space. When Illumina repurchased Grail earlier this year for $7 billion, they didn't wait for regulators in North America and Europe to give the go-ahead. We can expect to hear more about this case in the business news, and more from regulators wanting to break up huge genomic firms in the future. Number 14 more people are investing after COVID vaccines were released. Traditionally, only specialized investors have invested in genomics companies. However, in the last year or so, Moderna and BioNTech hit it big with vaccines for COVID, and now everyone's joining the party, which can also make the sector more volatile. Number 15. Genomics helps in conservation too. 
And finally, it looks like genomics is going to do more than just make life better for humans. Hopefully, we're looking at other winners too, including endangered species. For conservationists working with these animals, once DNA samples from the groups of endangered species are obtained, they can do things like identify biodiversity hotspots, set up conservation areas, and increase their chances of survival. In China, scientists are already doing this with the crested ibis. Over 3,000 species of animals have already had their genome sequenced, and it's showing a lot of promise to eventually help them to thrive once again. Alright Alexer, do you think you're likely to invest in genomics companies? Why or why not? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. And of course, you stuck around with us until the end. As a true Alexer, you know you're getting a bonus. Genomics could be the technology that allows us to live forever. True, not everybody wants to live forever, and you could argue that we shouldn't live forever, but let's not get into that debate right now, including the overpopulation issues it would cause. But for decades, scientists have been looking for ways to avoid issues of old age and extend life indefinitely. Genomics is already showing us signs it could do just that. In China earlier this year, scientists came up with gene therapy that delayed cellular aging in mice. It's hard to predict exactly how far it could go, but just maybe it could be possible the genomics industry holds the key to what people have dreamed about for millennia, the key to eternal life. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Aluxer. Please give us a like if you enjoyed today's video. Hit the bell icon to never miss an upload, and don't forget to subscribe.